tutorial two, beginning a wall design project with AnchorWall software version 6.0. After opening AnchorWall software by double-clicking the AnchorWall icon, select the File menu option and pick New Project. Immediately the project information screen will appear. Starting at the top, you will note that the first field is labeled Client. AnchorWall software has a unique built-in project sorting and handling system that automatically arranges your projects according to the client by creating a directory which all documents related to this project can be found. Once you enter in a client name, this client name will now become installed in the AnchorWall software database and added to the client drop-down menu for further selection on a future project. Now enter the project name. Now enter the project site and prepared by. Note at the bottom of the screen a folder path has been automatically created to save any related files for this project. If you do not like the folder path that has been created or it does not conform with your current system of file management, you can easily change it by selecting the Change button. Now select the design methodology by picking from the drop-down menu. In this example, we will choose the NCMA 3rd edition. Now select the units of measure, either SI or Imperial. In this example, we will select Imperial. In the project notes, any text can be added that is relevant to the project. In the upper right quadrant, you will note the revisions table. This is a very simple and powerful way to manage design changes, review various design options, etc. Essentially, once you create a design, that version of the design is listed in the table as number 1 as shown. If a grade or some other element of the design has changed since the original, simply copy the original and now make your modifications to the new version, which would be version number 2. This way, the original version stays intact in case you ever have to go back to it and you have a new version that is most recent. This is also useful if you wanted to compare different design options using a variety of AnchorWall SRW products and or geosynthetics for costing, etc. The revision notes located below allow you to describe that particular revision explicitly. When you come back to a project, you then choose the revision you want to work on and set as active. You can also delete revisions, but be careful you don't remove a relevant version. Now that all of the relevant project information has been input, hit the Create Wall button. Once you create wall, you will be prompted to enter a name for the new wall. As there are often a number of separate retaining walls on a particular site, AnchorWall software allows the MSC designer to design multiple walls simultaneously within the same project. For this example, we will call our first wall, Wall 1. Immediately a new tab is created for Wall 1. In the next tutorial, Tutorial 3, we will select this tab and enter the design interface.